Hey guys, um, welcome to another screencast. So um, um, we're gonna switch gears for a little bit. Uh, we've been playing around with um, PHP based applications and now we've gotten the hang of it. Um, um, as you know, OpenShift is powerful enough to support um, Java based implementations as well. Uh, for instance, um, uh, we're gonna play around, try to set up the Open ME, uh, Open MEAP uh, uh, running on the application. Uh, we're going to use the JBoss EWS 2.0, which is basically uh, Tomcat 7. And um, so, if you have um, OpenShift Origin, you might not have the um, the Tomcat uh, installation. So, I'll have a video on that. Uh, have some um, RPMs that one can install and support that as well. Anyway, so um, now um, as usual, uh, we're going to use the RSC tool, and you can see this is the JBoss EWS 2.0 uh, cartridge. So we're going to open the. We're going to go ahead and open the uh, GitHub page for the quick start. So you can see this using OpenShift, and. Um, of course, you know, we can go ahead and create the JBoss uh, cartridge and specify the, you know, the path to the application, and um, yeah, hopefully this this will make um, this make sense. Or uh, anyway, we can go ahead and and do that. So we're going to use the JBoss EWS uh, 2.0 cartridge. All right, so here we can see we have RC app create as usual, um, and of course um, you must have noticed that I've been using the um, this syntax. I'll give it a name, and then I'll provide the list of cartridges. Uh, if you just want to use one cartridge, of course you can go ahead and and do that. Uh, so for instance, you can specify use a dash a to specify the name of the application. Uh, maybe open uh, MEP. Uh, that could be the name of the application. If you like, you can specify the cartridge. By using the dash t option, so this will accept only one cartridge. Um, except there's another way of providing multiple cartridges in the dash t option. But for now, I think you could just provide one cartridge type. So this would be the JBoss uh, EWS 2.0 cartridge, which is the Tomcat 7 cartridge. And um, it is recommended that you use the medium uh, medium cartridge. Uh, this is because it has more memory and supports um, kind of more. Uh, more storage, so most J uh, Java applications will require you will require that you have um, considerable amount of resources. So I'm going to use the medium cartridge, and um, I'm going to create this for the OpenShift user. And of course, if we like, uh, of course uh, we can pull it up using the code. But I want to show you um, that we can use the syntax we use similar to the Laravel installation um, to provide the source code for the application. All right, so for now I'm just going to use this and we create the open MEAP application. So you can see this is used, going to use the JBoss EWS 2.0 application and it's going to use a medium gear size as well. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and uh, when the installation is complete, then uh, we continue from there. Okay, so our JBoss um, EWS application is uh, has been created using the medium um, gear sizes so what what we're going to do now is um i'm going to go into the open the open map application and we're going to add the remote um, repository so um i'm going to copy the url here uh, as usual of course this is another syntax because you can just specify it from code and it should work so um now what i want to show you is the uh, using the git remote add command, so we're going to add a remote um, repository that points to the upstream of um, the quick start. So we're going to give it a name. Uh, so basically, we can just call it open MEP and we specify the master. And the master is going to come from you know our code URL. So paste this, and of course, we're going to do a git pull. Uh, so we're going to pull. Uh, you know recursively so we're going to use the git pull dash s recursive and we're going to pull from the open map um uh, branch to the master branch of our you know local installation here all right so 
I'm gonna wait for this to pull the contents. So you can see it's pulling the contents from GitHub. And uh, depending on the speed of your machine, uh, this might take a while. So we're just going to allow this run through. And once it's complete, then we can continue from there. Okay, so um, it has cloned and pulled the OpenMEP um, package uh, from the upstream. So uh, what we need to do now is to push it to our OpenShift origin installation here using the git push command. So we're going to push this and this will go ahead and push the contents to, you know, our GitHub our account. or rather the OpenShift uh, account uh, for the cartridge. All right, so we give this moment to complete and once it's done, uh, we can go ahead and uh, continue that. Okay, so um, the deployment has completed. Here you can see uh, the application was deployed and of course found the, uh, the required ports and all that. So um, we need to make some few changes. Uh, like we need to note the UID of our application. So I'll show you where that's needed in a moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and we switch to uh, our application um, so we refresh our list of applications here uh, we should have the open MEP application and we can go ahead and open that so uh, we wait for the application to launch uh, usually this is where it's trying to create some caching and all that uh, and it's running the application for the first time uh, so while it's doing that uh, let's check out the instructions and um, of all the instructions we need to make some changes uh, we need to you know note our namespace so in this case our namespace is pass and we need to note the uh, our application UUID and that will be required in the interface uh, which you will see in a moment so uh, just give some time to load Okay, so it has loaded, and uh, I had to do uh, something uh, behind um, behind the scenes. Uh, basically, what I did was uh, when I loaded the OpenMAP pass uh, URL, it just loaded the default um, URL for the application. So I had to add the um, this bit here to load this interface. And now we need to log in using the credentials. So if you go to the uh, get URL, you can see we need to use OpenShift and Open uh, MEAP as a password so open shift open meap and into login all right so you can see that uh we've successfully logged into the application and we need to make some changes so in this case um we can go to settings and we need to update these values so you notice i copied my uid so i'm going to go ahead and paste that uh Right, so let's get the UUID once more. Um, this will be the UUID, and I'm going to paste that here, and I'm going to paste that here as well. And where we have your namespace, uh, we need to copy the uh, our application namespace. So we copy everything here. So make sure this matches and this also matches our application and once we're done we click save and all right so settings were successfully modified uh, I think we're ignoring this error and uh, hopefully our deployment has completed successfully uh, you can go back to the dashboard 
uh, yeah, different deployments uh, here, so you can check it out uh, in the Open MAPA uh, website. So um, this is beyond this video. Uh, this was just to show you how to play around with the different applications. Uh, you can see here this is the OpenShift one we have. Uh, you can view the version listing. Uh, you can check out the web view if you like. Uh, of course, if you like, I can see that. Uh, of course, this is the sample page you have uh, over there, and of course, you can deploy if you like. Uh, you can see the identifier here. You can see the download URL, and of course, you can hit deploy if you like. So uh, you know, kind of deploys uh, immediately. So um, pretty much. Uh, this is just to show you how to deploy these things um, on OpenShift. So hope you like it and if you have um, questions, comments or suggestions, please uh, drop them in the comment form below and uh, we will uh, look at this together. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this and um, see you in the next bit.